Welcome back, my friends. The question of the day is, are dragons back? My favorite unit in the game, and can they make a return with a splash? This is Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 10 for the three star. Now, not all three stars are easy at the Town Hall 10 level. This is a max defensive base, except for those Inferno Towers, but really hard nonetheless. Of course, the key here is, with the ground portion, with his hero portion, he's gonna take down the clan castle, some an air defense, and hopefully that queen if possible. Now you have to be able to take down one air defense with the ground, with your hero portion, or it's not gonna work out. And of course, this raid cannot work on every base, but considering most ex expos are po pointed to ground because they're defending against the uh, uh, bowlers, this is a great strategy. I love it. You know, Town Hall 10 three stars, they're still tough. It's not a given every time you're going to three star it with the Town Hall 11. Should it happen? Sure, but things can go wrong. And why not use air? I love dragons. So powerful. Now, the first attack here, this was a fail. And the reason why I show you the fail first and, and, and the next two are going to be three stars well, it's important to note that he did not get down that other air defense. Um, actually, we're going to show you one more fail. So two fails at first, and then we're going to give you two three-star attacks. So, of course, you have to execute the attack well like any other one. Uh, you're going to have to take down the um, air defenses or it won't work out. So on this attack, he's going to be able to get the queen down, which is very critical. But look what happens. And he gets the clan castle, no biggie. But he doesn't take down another air defense. And so what happens is he cannot, his dragons cannot handle the two plus the inferno towers. It's just not going to work out. He has to be able to get down that other air defense. The hound placement at the beginning there, see, there's just a fail. I'm not even going to show it. But let's give you the three star and what went right here. I do think dragons are back. So here he's going to actually shift his heroes up just a little more so his heroes will be able to take down that air defense. Now when he actually brings in, uh, he's going to drop some wall breakers to help the king get in the core and with that eternal tome ability he's able to really protect his heroes a little longer than normal and look at this. He's going to take down that air defense. Now of course in this attack why come from the side of the air sweepers? Now look at this. Air sweepers are pointed south, and when he's going to drop his dragons, he's going to go right into the air sweepers. Why in the world would you do that? Again, he would have three-starred this base. He did three-star it, but he would have three-starred it even better and more quickly if he had just come from the opposite side. But he chose to come from the south, lightning those two up north. I like that. Only one air defense down. So right here, when he drops his hound, it's way too soon. And you don't funnel your dragons like that. You don't spread them out. You funnel them to make sure they go path towards the core. So how do you do that? I've done tons of videos on dragons. You do one dragon on either end, let them funnel, or maybe two dragons on either end, and then the rest of them right into the core. He dropped his hound way too soon there and the loons. Um, his hound should have survived longer. Um, until those dragons kind of got to the core. So look, all those dragons to the east, they got pushed out east-north. And they're going to just kind of circle the base and not go towards the core of the attack. He still has one Inferno Tower left and those Teslas. If he had funneled properly, he would have actually three-star this base way quicker. But nonetheless, he still got it. So really pretty cool stuff from Boom Shakalaka to get that three star using dragons. I mean, you don't see that in this game at all, especially it's counter logic. You know, uh, when they all the expos are pointed to the ground, that's the way to go. You can definitely use dragons when they're pointed to the ground. Um, and even if one's pointed to the air, you could still do you can still do the dragon attack um, on this attack. He would have gotten the three star. But again, uh, he was just 2% off. He didn't have the cleanup troops. Those builders huts in the corners got to him at the end. And that's kind of what happened there. So of course, uh, where, what is that? Okay, my notification. Anyways, uh, you can't three star every base with this strategy. Just keep that in mind. It's only specific bases that will work but it's really cool, guys. And actually, a lot of troops have been using um, uh, ground troops in the clan castle, too, which is even better. Uh, so amazing stuff from Boom here, kind of doing this. Now, again, this is not how you funnel. Come on. That's not how you funnel dragons. You don't spread out dragons like that. 
because uh, they passed so funny. Luckily, he his most of his uh, dragons did go to the core, but if for whatever reason they kind of shifted towards the east north and circled the base, uh, it would have spelled doom for this attack. So just keep that in mind, guys. Uh, you know, use dragon funneling properly, one on each end or two on each end, and then the, let them do their work, and then the rest right into the center. That's how you do it. I'll link some videos to teach you how to uh, dragon funnel. I'm a dragon master. Oh, I love dragons so much. I don't use them because they're not a three-star option at the Town Hall 10. But at this Town Hall 11, hey, it'll work. So look, look at this attack. Great stuff. Almost, he had the three-star. He just maybe should have had some cleanup troops. He, I don't think he realized the huts were over there. You know, it was a friendly challenge. He probably just pushed attack right when he saw it and didn't plan at all. So pretty powerful stuff at that. Guys, I appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, visit Patreon. Also, um, doing a lot with uh, Twitter, too. So get on there, uh, and you'll be able to hang out. Again, if you have any uh, video ideas that you want to submit to me, feel free to do so. I can upload them and show them to the world, or to you and my, my, my great group here. Anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Halo out.